One of the grand challenges right now is anywhere from 100,000 to perhaps even 500,000 people die every year because of poor quality, substandard, falsified and counterfeit medicines. So poor quality medicines and fake medicines are a huge problem and so we'd like to kind of build something that's portable that we can take uh, to test those medicines. So the idea of PharmaCheck is basically that we want to create something that is easy to use, that is scalable throughout the system, and doesn't require a lot of training, doesn't require a lot of raw materials or consumables. The problem of substandard, counterfeit, um, falsified, poor quality medicine is three or four fold. First of all, it leads to loss of life. Second, it of course creates a huge financial burden. A third is the development of antimicrobial resistance. And fourth problem, which is also an issue, is that it erodes trust in the health system. The challenges are of several uh, dimensions. Many of these uh, countries do not have a regulatory system in place to really safeguard the quality of drugs. They may also not have the right human resources in terms of people who are trained adequately to address this challenge. The third aspect is they may also not have the technologies there's a lot that went into kind of the design of PharmaCheck. One of the key things for us was really taking the user into account and something that was very important to us was making PharmaCheck easy to use and portable. We wanted to come up with something that was a small footprint, uh, something that was the size of a suitcase that you can take out into the field, and also something that doesn't require a lot of technical training. So we wanted to make sure that everything was as fully automated as possible, that from a user standpoint, really all you needed to do was take a tablet and pop it into the machine and hit start and let it kind of take care of the rest. We really see PharmaCheck being implemented throughout the entire supply chain. One of the, the really big challenges in this space is that the problem of poor quality medicines is different from country to country. And different countries have different health systems set up. And so people are really trying to understand where poor quality medicines and fake medicines kind of enter the supply chain. How do they get to your local pharmacy? Our long-term goal is really to kind of take that portability and that ease of use and really maximize that and go up and down the supply chain and be able to test in a lot of different locations. I think we all kind of take medicines for granted in our day-to-day -day life, but I think in areas in Sub-Saharan Africa, South and Southeast Asia, there are people that just aren't getting the right treatment and there, there are kids that are, that are dying, children under five. When you think about the fact that there are treatments available, but they're not of good quality, they're, they're poor quality or they're fake, for us, that's something tangible that we can problem solve.